Tell me about the lambs, Clarice. They were, um, they were slaughtering them. I, uh, I tried to open the gate, but, uh, they just stood there, confused. I picked one up and I grabbed it and I ran. And what became of your little lamb? They killed Well, it seems as though we found us. I feel better. What? Yeah, it's just like a wave. I never really talked about the lamb stuff before. Until today, I just, I just never, I never even realized it. I, until you, Dr. Lecter, and then in one conversation, you just oh, got the whole thing out of me. <laughs> um, well, I, I am a psychiatrist, after all. Of course. Wow, and you are good. Okay, you know, can I talk to you about some other stuff? Of course. Quid pro quo. Now. Buffalo Bill. Yeah, here, well, well, we'll talk about him in a minute. So, there's this guy, and I've been seeing him, and I can't quite tell if he's really into me or if he's, you know, just trying to bang me. Clarice, I think we should f stay on the topic of Buffalo Bill. <laughs> By the way, what I was doing with the, with the lamb, I was just trying to manipulate you, get in your head, you and know? Great job. You totally manipulated me, Dr. Lecter. I'm manipulated. And here's some more things that you can use to manipulate me. See, sometimes he takes a really long time to text back, but other times he's on it. Clarice, I Come on, Dr. Lecter, please, please, one question. One question and then we'll go right back to Buffalo Bill, I promise. I Fine. Promise. One question. Now, you say this gentleman takes a while to text back? Right, only during the day, like at night. He texts back, like 2 a.m., no problem. Oh, that's a booty call. Booty call? A booty call. Well, here's the thing, Dr. Lecter. He's introduced me to his friends. Yeah, he's probably doing that to show his friends, hey, look, uh, this woman is my booty call. What? Guys do that? Uh, yes. What? Look, I said one question. One. Now, we need to talk about Buffalo Bill. You're right, Dr. Lecter. You're right. So, um, he's been kidnapping women. Yes. All size 14. Yes. All missing pieces of flesh from the bodies. All except one. Yeah. One is still alive. Yes, but this one's a. Uh, she's different. She, uh. Instead of taking from her, he's giving items to her. Sharing items with the victim. Yes, a. a sweatshirt. A, it's like his personal favorite sweatshirt. Like, it's a, he wears it for luck. It's like his UMass Amherst sweatshirt, and he's like, you know, give it back to me just whenever makes sense for you. Which just feels like boyfriend behavior, uh, right? Uh, wait, I, I mean, I suppose it could be- Hold! This- God damn it! This is about you again! Well, yes, but I mean, come on! What am I- what else am I supposed to do? That is boyfriend I don't know, alright? Obviously, you've got some issues that are heavily related to your abandonment that you felt when your father was murdered. Whoa, do you think that's where it's coming from? You are so right, I didn't even think about that before. Thank you, Dr. Lecter. Yes, this eat. Now, how can I apply this to my new relationship? Okay, you know, I also eat people. So, oh, no. take it for what it's worth. I'm so done with this conversation. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Guard! No. Guard! Psst. Dr. Lecter, that's him. The guard? Yeah, his name's Jim. Unbelievable. Look, do me a favor, this woman has the hots for you, but apparently you're giving him mixed signals. Oh, oh really? I, oh, I was just trying to play it cool. Really? Oh, well, Jim, <laughs> that was really helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lerner. Oh, this is, oh. <coughs> Jim. 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 You see, your friend Jim has a severe peanut allergy. So severe that he has to carry an EpiPen with him at all times. This EpiPen. Earlier tonight, Jim gorged himself on his favorite snack, Ritz crackers and cheese. He really went to town, except it wasn't cheese. 
It was peanut butter. <laughs> no, Dr. Lecter, why? Why? This is to remind you that in our relationship, I'll always have the upper hand. You're right, Dr. Lecter. What was I thinking? This guy's not right for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I dodged a bullet. So there's this other guy named Owen. He's also a guard here. Yeah, I know him. Well, 